Number 8. The Valley of the Golden Mummies 380 kilometers west of the Great Pyramid of Giza, archaeologists discovered a large cache of Greco-Roman sarcophagi, covered in so much gold that they nicknamed the area the Valley of the Golden Mummies. Each of the mummies were covered in lavish artwork, making them some of the most beautiful and well-preserved mummies ever found. From the moment they were opened, sunlight reflected off the brilliant gold sarcophagi, giving archaeologists a glimpse at the stunning discovery they had made. As researchers continued to excavate, they found over 200 mummies. Because of the size of the site, one that measured 6 km squared by 2.3 meters squared in size, some experts believe there could be between 5,000 to 10,000 more mummies hidden underground, just waiting to be discovered. One of the most remarkable things about the mummies is that each one looks different from the next. Some are decorated with painted scenes on a plain exterior. Others are covered in gold with elaborate masks. Even the tombs in which they were found were different from one another. One of the tombs had an entrance hall, a delivery room, and a simple burial chamber. A second, larger tomb was a single room filled with mummies. Another was located beneath a large shaft in the ground with small cubby holes cut into the walls to display priceless artifacts. The ways the mummies were displayed were also unique to one another. Almost 60 were found with gilded masks covered in gold over their faces and a golden waistcoat decorated with scenes of gods and goddesses. Another style of mummy was covered with cartonage, decorative material made from layers of plaster, linen, and glue used to decorate the casings of mummies. Elaborate scenes of Egyptian gods were painted on the material that depicted Anubis, the god of mummification. Other scenes showed the judgment of the dead, where the Egyptian god Osiris watches as the god Anubis weighs the heart of the deceased. A third mummy was very different from the others and placed inside a human-shaped pottery coffin. A fourth mummy was done in the classic style similar to ones found in the New Kingdom and was covered entirely in linen. If the stunning artwork wasn't enough, archaeologists were excited to find detailed portraits painted on some of the golden masks, the kind that only the wealthiest Egyptian families could afford. The discovery of various artifacts including statues, earrings and amulets made from precious gemstones and various types of pottery are evidence that those buried in the Valley of the Golden Mummies were higher class Egyptians. Number 7. Temple of Bastet Near the port city of Alexandria, archaeologists discovered a 2,200-year-old temple dedicated to Egyptian cat goddess Bastet, and it could be the first Ptolemaic-era temple dedicated to the cat goddess in Alexandria. Even more remarkable is that it could be the first trace of Alexandria's royal quarter ever found. Within the ruins, there was a large number of statues depicting Bastet, indicating that worship of the ancient deity lasted well into the Ptolemaic period, which was heavily influenced by the Greeks. Bastet was also considered a fertility goddess and seen as a protector, which is clearly represented in her depictions as a fierce lion. When the temple was erected, it was surrounded by two channels lined with trees overlooking the city. At one point during the 22nd dynasty, the temple was extended into something even more elaborate, with an ornamental gate and lavish courtyard added to the structure for religious festivals. Worship of Bastet came in many forms, with Egyptians often mummifying cats and placing them in large cemeteries to honor the deity. Offerings of thousands of bronze statuettes of the goddess were often left at cemeteries, and small figures of cats were made into amulets and worn to show one's devotion to the ferocious deity. Number 6. Golden-Tongued Mummies In Saqqara, about 20 miles south of Cairo, a number of golden amulets shaped like tongues were found inside an ancient tomb. Archaeologists knew they had found something remarkable. The discovery was made in an ancient rock-cut tomb in northern Egypt. Sixteen 2,000-year-old mummies were uncovered and although they weren't very well preserved, the small gold foil tongue-shaped amulets were remarkably intact. Experts believe the amulets were placed there so the deceased could speak before the court of the god of Osiris in the afterlife. 
Ancient Egyptians believed Osiris was the lord of the underworld and judge of the dead. A second mummy was just as elaborately decorated as the first, with gold covered decorations in the shape of a crown that was emblazoned with a cobra. The mummy also had a necklace with the head of a falcon, which is the symbol of the god Horus, who symbolized protection, health, and restoration. The discovery was made at a site known as the Taposaris Magna Temple in Alexandria. On an earlier archaeological mission, the Director General of Antiquities Authority announced the discovery of a funeral mask of a woman that also had golden flakes, as well as eight marble masks that dated back to Greek and Roman eras. Within the same tomb, a number of rare coins were also discovered with images of Cleopatra. The coffins are just one of the countless archaeological discoveries made there. Not far from the location of the burial shaft, there is a 4,700-year-old stepped pyramid. It's 200 years older than the infamous pyramids at Giza. At the time the mummies were buried there, Saqqara was considered a site of pilgrimage, similar to ancient Mecca that attracted not just Egyptians, but people from all over the eastern Mediterranean. To be buried there, one would have to be quite prestigious. Number 5. The Largest Tomb in the Valley of the Kings With so many discoveries made in Egypt, there is one that stands above them all. KV-5, the largest tomb ever found, rivaled the treasures of Tutankhamun. Located in the Valley of the Kings, the coffins of at least 52 sons of Ramesses II were found inside a tomb. Many archaeologists tried to locate the tomb before, even Howard Carter himself, who became famous for discovering the tomb of King Tut. But KV-5 would remain hidden until 1985, when a team from the University of Cairo, along with the Theban Mapping Project, used ground-penetrating radar to locate the long-lost tomb. They were shocked when they realized the tomb was only 230 feet from the tomb of Tutankhamun. The tomb was stunning. It was found at the end of a long passageway, flanked by 20 chambers and a statue of the god of the underworld, Osiris. Another 20 chambers were found past the first set, with sloping corridors leading to more rooms on a lower level of the crypt. Sadly, the tomb was steeped in heartache with the pharaoh visiting it each time for the same reason, to bury one of his sons. Even though flash floods, thunderstorms, and looting threatened the location over time, it remained mostly intact. But the mummies didn't fare so well. Most of the remains were not preserved well, with the bones and body parts found in fragments or wrapped in linen. But there were treasures to be found, grave goods including canopic jars, which were used to stir the preserved organs of the deceased, were found alongside limestone statues, clay and stone beads, amulets, and other grave goods. The walls of the tombs displayed detailed reliefs painted in blue, red, and white. As one of the greatest pharaohs of the 19th dynasty, the tomb was built to honor Ramesses II. But it will take much more time to uncover all the treasures left behind. After 10 years of excavation, Experts have uncovered about 130 chambers, but they estimate they have only found about 7% of the secrets buried in K5V. What other treasures do you think archaeologists will find here? Let us know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 4. Lost Golden City In ancient Egypt, sarcophagi weren't the only things made from gold. Archaeologists conducting a dig 500 kilometers south of Cairo, near Luxor, discovered a 3,000-year-old city that had been lost to the sands of time. It was known as Aten and was established in the 18th dynasty. The largest ancient city ever uncovered in Egypt, it is considered one of the most important archaeological finds since the discovery of King Tutankhamun's tomb. After only a few weeks of excavation, Archaeologists were able to pinpoint it to the reign of Amenhotep III, who ruled Egypt from 1391 to 1353 BC and was one of Egypt's most powerful pharaohs. At first, archaeologists only spotted a few mud bricks, but as they continued to dig, the walls of the ancient city spread out before them. Eventually, several neighborhoods were uncovered, including a bakery and a residential area 
that was filled with tools of daily life from ancient Egyptians. A number of very exciting discoveries were made in the city, including jewelry and colored pottery. Excavations also unearthed scarab beetle amulets and mud bricks that had the seal of Amenhotep III on them. Scarabs and amulets were often used for decorative purposes, but also as ritual items, and they were an important part of Egypt's ancient heritage. They were also used as a display of great wealth, offering archaeologists a glimpse into the lives of the most prestigious ancient Egyptians. After months of excavations, antiquities experts vowed to continue their work in an effort to uncover more treasures that are untouched. Number 3. Khufu Ship Even with so many remarkable discoveries made in Egypt, experts believe there are still countless hidden treasures left to be found. Sometimes these discoveries are located in previously undiscovered crypts, but other times, they are also found near important historical sites. In 1954, an archaeologist discovered a massive ship buried next to the Great Pyramid of Khufu. After years of excavation, experts reassembled the extraordinary ship. One of the oldest planked vessels ever found, the royal craft is believed to be about 4,600 years old. It was buried in the 26th century BC in a carved stone pit and was used to carry the pharaoh Khufu on important voyages. For thousands of years, it sat undisturbed until archaeologists discovered the beautiful ship buried in a limestone sarcophagus. But uncovering the ancient ship wasn't easy. As archaeologists dug under a stone wall near the south side of the Great Pyramid, they discovered a layer of earth mixed with wood chips, charcoal, and powdered limestone. As they continued to dig, they revealed 40 limestone blocks lined up side by side in a rectangular pit. Only after carefully hauling away the stone slabs did they discover the ship's wooden planks and oars, draped with ropes. It took 20 months to uncover the astonishing 144-foot-long vessel, but the only way to remove it was to disassemble the ship. When it was time to put the ship back together, experts had to put 1,200 separate pieces back together, including 30 planks made from logs as long as 76 feet. A stunning 95% of the original parts were saved. For decades, the ship was on display at the Giza Solar Boat Museum, but in the summer of 2021, it was moved in an elaborate ceremony to the new Grand Egyptian Museum in Giza. One of the most fascinating things about the boat is that it was made without any nails. The pharaoh's workers would have had to saw raw logs by hand and turn them with hand tools, fitting them together like puzzle pieces. Even with the remarkable discovery, scholars still continue to debate the purpose of the ship. Some think it was used by Khufu in daily voyages across the sky as his persona, the sun god Ra. But others think it could be a funerary craft to transport his body on the Nile to the Giza necropolis. Either way, this stunning creation is an important discovery, offering a glimpse into the ancient Egyptian shipbuilding and the life of one of ancient Egypt's most well-known pharaohs. Number 2. The Silver Sarcophagus A rare silver sarcophagus found at the start of World War II went unexamined for decades. The tomb of Sassanes I was originally discovered in the 19th century by French Egyptologist Pierre Monte at the same time World War II was raging on the other side of the world. Sadly, as war broke out, Monte retreated to Europe, leaving the tomb unopened where he found it. When the tomb was finally opened decades later, researchers were in for a shock when they realized the pharaoh was found within a solid silver container embellished with gold. In ancient Egypt, silver was rarer than gold and had to be imported from abroad. While gold symbolized the flesh of the gods, silver was thought to be their bones. Susenes was an obscure ruler who governed Egypt more than 3,000 years before his tomb was located. At the time, the Egyptian kingdom was divided between rival rulers of the north and south. The elaborate silver coffin, along with the metal objects found in the tomb, are evidence that Susenes didn't mind spending money to have craftsmen make these luxurious items. In ancient Egypt, pharaohs believed they would receive the gift of eternal life if they were in the proximity of gold. This is why funerary masks, sarcophagi, and even ancient objects are often covered in gold leaf or gold paint in a process known as gilding. 
Why do you think Susanna has decided to have a sarcophagus made from silver instead of gold? Sadly, even though the silver coffin survived centuries, the mummy of Susanna's did not. Inside, only a pile of bones, black dust, and a few funerary items were found. Still, this elaborate sarcophagus survived long enough to dazzle archaeologists and show the wealth and power of this ancient pharaoh. Number 1. 100 Ancient Coffins Archaeologists made the remarkable discovery of 100 ancient coffins, along with 40 gilded statues and various artifacts in a vast burial ground south of Cairo. The 2,500-year-old coffins were very well preserved, with most covered in vibrant painted scenes and decorated with gold. Researchers determined the coffins belonged to a wealthy group of Egyptians. When researchers made their announcement, they opened one of the coffins and x-rayed the mummy inside to determine the gender. They found the individual was a male, in good health. They also determined the items date back to the Ptolemaic dynasty that ruled Egypt for 300 years. The discovery was just one of many at the Saqqara site in recent years. Another excavation revealed 140 sealed sarcophagi and other shafts filled with painted, gold-covered coffins. As part of Egypt's ancient capital of Memphis, where the Giza pyramids also stand, Saqqara is becoming a hotbed for ancient antiquities and artifacts that show off the true power of ancient Egypt. Thanks for watching. Which one of these amazing discoveries did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these.